Yo, everybody, how's it going? It's your boy, Burke Crown 88, coming at the Sunday Savers video. And today's Sunday Savers, we're going to be talking about cards that aren't meta. Now, the meta cards are obviously meta for a reason. They're beefy, they're they're fast, they're, they're high, they're high in every ability. But sometimes you just don't have the coins or the cards to get after the meta cards. So I'm going to give you a list of players that you could look at at the center position to help you out in maybe that third, fourth line roll with 99 faceoff or even higher because there is a couple here that could, could go higher up on your team. So we're going to dive into this. Who are these budget cards or well budget cards compared to the meta and cards that you could put on your team that will not hurt you in the position you need, which is center on your own zone faceoffs or offensive zone faceoffs that you need to win or just getting the puck back off the dot in general so those important faceoffs you need somebody but you don't want to pay for them the aggressive price of the two main cards which we will talk about let's get into it i hope you do enjoy it if you do give it a thumbs up and let's see what we got so what i'm going to talk about here is jason arnett is obviously one of the two meta cards for the center because he's got 99 face off 95 shooting 99 hands 99 defense he's got everything this card is everything but it should be at the accelerated price of 750,000 coins you got to build 24 84 team builders to get the 87s to get the 90s to get this 193 so for 750,000 coins he should be one of the best cards in the game no correct but not everybody can build that because that isn't an, an aggressive amount of grinding or an aggressive amount of money so if you don't have millions of hours to put in the game to get these cards who else can you get we're going to look at that but first who is the second meta card and more realistically one that everybody could chase but you got to put out a lot of coins and the second card is going to be mario lemieux he also has quick draw silver quick draw and Arnett has gold quick draw, so there's a little bit of a difference there. 93 speed, so he is slightly faster than Arnett with one speed. And then 99 face off. So this card is a really good build. It's six foot four, 230, fantastic. Quick draw, 99 face off speed, uh, unbelievable shooting in hands. It's what you would expect. And then you get sniper forward with playmaking forward, and you get dangler with shooting boost, so you can play with this card to make him an extremely good card. But it comes with the price tag of 350,000 coins, which, you know, is is a little steep for somebody to put out that either doesn't spend a ton of money or a ton of time on the game so what other cards could compete with these meta cards to help you out on your center well let's look at them. the first one is going to be this chris draper card now if you play champs or you know you play champs it doesn't matter how many weeks it takes you you can earn this card at an 83 for free an 83 is still 90 face off, so it's not bad. You just need three champs collectibles. And that is just literally a couple of wins in champs, and you can have it. Again, you can wait, you can hold them, you can stack them. So even if you get one or two champs a week or one one champs win a week, you can stack them and get this Chris Draper. Now he is five foot ten, but again, we're we're trying to battle the meta by tackling one stat at a time. And this one would be the 99 face off. And again, if you play champs, you can earn this card for free. All the way up to 92 if you turn your collectibles in for power of collectibles now he needs 21 power of collectibles so if you you know you can get yourself a handful of wins you can get after that or power of collectibles generally cost about 14k you can get them for cheaper if you're really thrifty on the market so we're going to say this card and you can get around for 290,000 coins if if you build them by buying the collectibles instead of just turning in your hut champs collectibles which is a possibility to help you cheapen up this card but you do need 21 in total to get him up to a 92 but you're going to see here when this card gets up to a 92 he's got the 93 speed he's got the 93 acceleration the 99 face off he's got the 92 shooting this card could be as high as your second line maybe even your first line depending on what your team build looks like but this card battles the mario hand in hand and he comes with gold quick draw which puts him a little bit above mario so that's a nice ability to have he has unstoppable force close quarters and no contest now his interchangeables you can get grinder forward two-way forward checking boost and playmaking boost so you can even get everything up a little bit that you need there so 510 a little short 188 a little light but it's okay because you're winning draws with him which is the most important thing and I think this card would battle it well. This is something you can slowly earn and slowly work on as you compete in champs and win more and more and more. Now, yes, it might take you a couple of weeks to, to get all these collectibles that you need to power them all the way up. But this is a card you can work on at your own pace. And it's just by playing the game. So if you win five champs a week, you take those three collectibles, you get Draper. Next week, you win five games, you take those three collectibles. And now you have a Draper up to an 86 overall. Then the next week, three more collectibles, you get them up to an 88, so on and so forth. It'll take you some time, but you're building this card at your own pace. And as you're doing that, you're earning coins and you're getting rewards elsewhere to get you another one of these face-off cards. 
And another one's got to be Mark Messier. Six foot two. He comes with silver quick draw, gold born leader, which is not bad. 90 speed, 90 shooting accuracy, so not terrible, with 99 face off. Again, this is a massive card to go get because it's one you can get by building with lesser cards. You need 685 captain cards to acquire one Mark Messier. You, dude, you don't have to build them up, you don't have to power them up. You just go get those 685 captain cards and you can build an 88 Mark Messier. Or you can use collectibles to get 85 captain cards from the set. You go to the MSP set and you come in here and you build collectibles under sets, under captains, and you build collectibles. This is what you can get. So for, for 184, you can get two collectibles and you need 10 collectibles to get 185. And you do that right here, one of these three. And then after you build this 60 times, so you need 60 collectibles, you build them through the set in the exchange here. You go over to Messier and you turn those 685s into the Marc Messier and then you have yourself a third, fourth line center with 99 draw that is perfect that you could work on throughout the course of rewards in a couple of weeks. Now that'll cost you roughly 168,000 to make all of those if you go the cheapest route, which is the 83s. Or you can spend 27, 28, 29,000 on all six, which for easy math will say is 30 which is 180, so it's roughly the same. And Marc Messier sells for about 180. So if you have the coins, you can just go buy them, buy Marc Messier, or you can slowly build them up with rewards. Now these last three are gonna be just coin dependent. You can't build them, you have to buy them, but they're good in the category we're looking for. So he has two way forward and he has shooting boost. The shooting boost helps him get his shot up into the 90s. And then he has 92 speed with 99 face off. Michael Pekka is a great card, but what does this card run for? You can get this card for 70,000 coins and that will compete with the big guys because he's got the speed and he's got the face offs. You just need to surround him with other players to help him out in that line. His job is to win draws, which he will do. And then he's got the speed to keep up with the players you put around him. So this Michael Pekka card being 70,000 is a good competitor for those meta cards on the draw. Now what we're gonna go with here again is Elias Lindholm in the prototypes. These guys are prototype builds, 99 face off with 91 speed, 85 shooting, but he comes with shooting boost to get him up to an 87. He has gold quick draw and he has close quarters. A very good build here. And this card will be significantly cheaper than the Pekka, because he's an 87, but he still gives you that 99 face off with the 91 speed and the quick draw ability. And that price tag is 45,000 coins. Not terrible for 99 face off with quick draw and you're getting into the 90 speed. Very good card, specialist for sure. Third, fourth liner that'll help you win draws in those important areas. Okay, we're gonna finish this off with straight up fourth line specialist. This card is gonna be on your fourth line center only going to be in the draws that you need to win, but he has quick draw. He has 99 face off. He has 92 speed. That is Mike Fisher. This, this card is ridiculous. Yes, he has 85 shooting, but you can get him up to an 87. The 92 speed with the 99 face off is amazing. Again, you're only going to have him in specialist situations, face offs in your zone that you, you just absolutely can't lose, face offs in the O zone that you need to win, or anytime you need to win just a big face off, you're going to throw him in. He's got 85 endurance, 83 balance, so it's 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 rougher, it's on the lower end, but you're only putting him in certain situations, so his endurance isn't going to kill you. You can win the face off, get possession, control the puck around, change your lines, and get the big guys out while you have a beautiful Mike Fisher at a cheap price tag to get you those face off wins and get you possession and momentum working on your side. As you can get them for 36,000 coins, you can't hate that at all. And if you wanted to guys, you could stack three of these cards, all three of the prototype cards in line two, three, four, and that would cost you around 170, which is cheaper than Mario. So if you wanted 499 face off guys, you could go out and build the Messier, or the Draper, and then you could stack your line with the with the three prototype guys and Draper or Messier on the front line, and you have four 99 faceoff guys dominating the dot for you with quick draw to make it even better. That is gonna be the Sunday Savers, guys. I hope this helps you out if you're looking for those cheap guys to battle the meta guys on the dot, and uh, you know, get out there, win some games, have some fun, and these cards are fun to use. They all have great speed, they all have great faceoffs, they all have good shooting, they will not hurt you out there. Thank you guys for watching this video. Till next time, ciao, ciao.